Hey guys, what's going on? Drewzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video. We already had some big news coming in in the update information that I posted in the video earlier today. Hope you guys were able to check that out. But we're going to do our normal thing that we do on Monday mornings, or on Mondays in general, where we talk about the last week uh, team wars. We're also going to do the vote uh, for the vote deck. But, the, but in this episode, similar to what I did last week, I'm going to showcase my matches in the team wars that I did this last uh, last night. Uh, essentially for you guys so uh, i'm not going to commentate this time but i'm just at least going to showcase the matches if you guys weren't able to check it out in the live stream and would rather watch it in this format so you can watch those matches for you as well i also have a cool little glitch that kind of happened in one of my other previous uh streams that i also wanted to showcase at the end of the episode as well that i think is just really weird and really funny it's something i have never seen in phone destroyer before in all the t in all the hours and hours that I've played it. Maybe you guys have noticed it too, but I hope you guys enjoy that little extra little tidbit that's going to come at the end of the episode. But as always, we're going to open the first pack here. So we had uh, 4290 was our score. We had 142 crowns due to it. We did win against Merc, uh, Merc Mercenarios, Active Members, Jerk Offs, and the three Member Berries were the teams that we faced off this week. Uh, much better scores than the teams that we had in the previous week here, but uh, let's check out our first place pack for the sixth straight week, I believe now, six or seven straight week now, that we won. And let's see what we get here. So 900 PvP tickets, 100 Ancient Fossils, 18 Ancient Keys, I need those. 21 Indian Feathers, I'm going to need those. 21 Arrowheads, I'm going to need those. Especially with the new card coming out, guys, that was announced in the last episode. Mage Tomes, eight of them. 18 prayer beads, 16 futuristic robots. I don't need those. All right, I got plenty of futuristic robots. <laughs> Nine tomes of knowledge, 20 calamity Heides, which is close to level six, guys. 20 pigeons, don't care about that. 10 princess kennies, that's fine. 35 energy staff seems unnecessary. <laughs> six ice sniper Wendy's definitely unnecessary. We get six Hokan Clydes, my least favorite card in the entire game. Do we get a legendary? No, we get three alien drones and a tease at that, guys, because we're one away from level four. But who would want a level four alien drone, Drew? I don't know. Maybe me. Maybe I would be dumb enough to actually fully level up an alien drone to level four and see if I can make it happen. But I can't do that because I'm one short. So just a tease. Just a little tease there at the end. Just unfortunate. But, uh, I mean, we did get a legendary last week, so it's all good. All right, so let's look at the cards that we have for this event. And thank you, team. Thank you. Cupid Cartman. He's, I hope he wins. I really do, because you guys know how I feel about Cupid Cartman. He's got a special place in my heart. But we've also got Witch Doctor Token. It, to me, is better than Doc, than Dog Poo in almost every fathomable way. There is Hallelujah or Unholy Combustion. So, you have the ability to cancel something out completely or heal your team, or heal your team really well with Hallelujah. Uh, I'm kind of surprised, in all honesty, that no one's voted for Hallelujah so far in uh, in this deck, but okay. I can wrap my head around that. We've got Storyteller Jimmy versus Friar Jimmy. Both these Jimmys are in are not in the best of places right now, but Storyteller Jimmy provides a little bit more value, I think, than Friar Jimmy right now. Uh, I think the more the free-to-play teams will focus on Friar Jimmy, of course. Then it's Pope Timmy versus Medusa Baby. This is an interesting vote, guys. This really is. So it looks like the focus is around Man Bear Pig. As you can see a little bit further down on the left, we got Man Bear Pig. So Pope Timmy makes more sense to re to bring Man Bear Pig back to life, and the Unholy Combustion makes more sense now to cancel out Man Bear Pig. So I'm seeing where the team's heads at here so far with these picks. Uh, Choir Boy Butters is better than Bidia Sally in every way, shape, or form. Hermes Kenny is much better than Barrel Dougie in every shape, <laughs> every way imaginable. Deckhand Butters versus Smuggler Ike. I actually think Deckhand Butters is the better choice. He, yes, he costs more energy, but he has that heal that is so undervalued. I think Deckhand Butters is the better choice. Sorry, I'm going to vote for him instead. I'm going to go with Man Bear Pig over Sheriff Cartman. Sheriff Cartman is terrible right now. Uh, there's no need to have him, especially if you can have Zen Cartman as well, which I'm going to vote for. Hokan Clyde and Stan of Many Moons. Right now, Hokan Clyde is winning. This is mind-boggling, guys. This is, really is. It's it's Stan of Moons for me, without question. I get it, because then you have... Then you have Aerostorm and Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt, definitely, to cancel out Stan of Moons. 
I think I see why they're trying to go against Stand Many Moods, but Stand Many Moods provides so much value. Yeah, you don't have Hanky. We've had Hanky for multiple weeks uh, in a row here. And then there is Officer Barbrady, so if you're going up against Barbrady or Man Bear Pig, obviously you want a Holy Combustion. So, I mean, I see where all these votes are going. Uh, I think that this is the better way to go. Me personally, hopefully, we'll see if you guys agree with me or not. But there you go, that's the votes that I'm going to vote for this week. Um, this is what our current deck is looking like right now. 3.8 is hefty cost. Uh, and then you got basically two cancellation cards, but... I mean, Lightning Bolt is going to be a must-have, I think, over Aerostorm, especially to deal with Dougie. I get that Aerostorm can cancel out a Dougie at the right level, but I think realistically, um, you know, Lightning Bolt's going to do it. So let's see where the team's at now. We are in the top 15 now. Globally, we are 13th currently with 1268. And Illuminatis, guys. Welcome, Illuminatis and Free-to-Play Whales. You are the only two teams in the illustrious Silver uh, Shield. So Free-to-Play Whales allegedly didn't play anybody last week. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, they didn't play anybody. But they will have some competition this coming week in the form of Illuminatis. I'm surprised that Dire Tide isn't also in Silver Shield. They must have had a difficult bracket, but it looks like most certainly they will be there next week. So look for at least three teams in uh, in that Silver Shield. And TMI 3-5 could be up there as well. Chef's Elites, I assume, probably another week, maybe two before they get up there. So we could have a handful of teams, guys. We may have a full ladder for Silver Shield next week. That'll be interesting to see. And then SP Elites are nipping at the heels. Sezwan Sauce is right there. Skank 42 is around there. And Mercenaries uh, will probably take some time as well. I mean, we'll inevitably get into Silver, uh, the Silver Shield as well, but or Silver League, sorry. But it'll, uh, it'll probably be a couple more weeks until that happens, obviously. Probably at least three more weeks or so at the rate things are going. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it, at least for the breakdown. That's my voting. That's my pack. Uh, and that's my tease at Alien Drone being at level 4 some at some point. But uh, let's just go ahead and hop into my matches that I did showcase in the live stream that I had last night. If you guys didn't watch that, I did have a lot of rage going on in that live stream, which I'm sure you guys will eat alive in the comment section of that or whatever. But um, it happens. I get frustrated just like everybody else in this game. But I hope you guys enjoyed the matches. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, yeah, enjoy the matching. Is they just run over people and then they just laugh and fart emote on them. It's like the bane of this existence. But we got match number one here against Prizza. Against Prizza. We'll start with Osimo, of course. As Marcus glitches forward. It's always good to see. Okay, this game is laggy as crap. So Marcus just reversed time structure. Okay, that's always good to see. You gotta love to see that, guys. Let's piece this up. It's gonna be a little late, though. Let's go ahead and get this pillow out here. That was a terrible mind control, Prisa. I mean, at this point, we can just smack him with a good game and call it. No, Ike, you're supposed to survive. We'll get Blood Elf in here. Yeah, we can just slap him with a good game and call it. Go ahead and freeze that. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, she should have survived that. Then we kill Randy. I should just transmogrify him, but for right now we'll just poison him. Yeah, dude, so many questions, so little answers in that first exchange there of where the heck Marcus went. I'm going to have to make a video compilation now because the, the glitching that has happened in this episode, in this video so far, and there was some ridiculous glitching that happened for me the other day. No, I did too late. No! Yeah, he's dead. I'll just get rid of that. I should have healed Ike. 
but I didn't. He'll take one hit from Butters and heal most of it back anyways. Okay, that, that play really didn't make sense to me. We'll throw this pillow here. Uh, we'll get a second pillow to take the third bar anyways, or he'll just hit it for the win. There we go. Game. Nice outfit. Wow. I, I've got a... I've got a... I've got a clip from my last stream that will blow you guys all away that I'm going to add to this compilation now that's going to totally be happening here. And here we go. We've got Kamach... Kam, Kamikaze Boy? Kamikaze Boy. Yeah, there we go. I can say words. Okay, so... Alien Clyde would have been the best play there. To lead and poison Randy. But we didn't go that route, so we're going to go with Osimo instead. Okay, so he's playing Cock Magic. All right. All right, Kamikaze boy, you do you, man. You do you, man. I'll just transmogrify something that makes sense here. And we'll kill Butters. I don't know if Bounty Hunter Kyle... Bounty Hunter Kyle was not necessary at all. And we'll do this. And we'll kill Kenny. And we'll take bar number one. And we'll poison that, which means nothing. Then I'll poison you, which means something. Oh, and I poisoned Kyle? Game over. Largo, what's going on? Sal, go, what's up? Gotta love these match this matchmaking so far, man. Kamikaze boy going cock magic at the worst possible time. Oh, Space Warrior token play, huh? Okay, that's, that's cool. I'm going to do this because I want Labar to take his shot more than Marcus. I know that wasn't the greatest play in the world, and I'll be judged for it later, but I'm sticking by it. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, you tried it and failed <laughs> the ramen tweak. <laughs> Canadian eye eye combo doesn't work for you, Kami. Oh, doesn't work. I'll just kill that. Kill that. Kills that my butters down, but I'll probably take your bar anyways. Ooh, I would have. I would have if you didn't play the bard. Alright. Got Osmo out here. We'll put uh we'll put Bad Hunter Kyle back up top. For you to just cock magic that. Okay. I'm just gonna win this match now. I, I'm just going to win this match now. <laughs> uh, uh, let's change this come in. So we got pointed detective something. Detective 2, 7, 4, 5. Choir boy for sure better than Hermes unless you're using energy staff. No, he's not, Shabble Hoot. We keep having this conversation, man. <laughs> Hermes is faster tax. <laughs> we keep having this conversation. Oh my god, Point Detective actually knows how to play this game. We're finally a plane against someone that has somewhat reasonable, comfortable skill. I mean, it's not going to save him from winning this match. Ooh. You upgraded Cock Magic level 4? Okay, thanks for the free bar, though. I mean, you stopped my push, but... I, what did you think was going to happen there, man? Only time Hermes is better than Choir is if you're using Staff Combo. Blood Elf or Medusa? It depends on the level. But Blood Elf Bebe overall, if she's fed, has better potential to me. Oh, you thought he was mad earlier, man. He's about to get real pissed. Oh, no, I can't do it yet. Oh, 
Do that first. We'll do that to eat as attacks. Then we'll buff out Blood Elf so she's stronger at least. Uh, you're just feeding. You're just feeding her, man. You're just feeding her, man. So thanks for that. So we get two hits. That's cool. Do this. So we can kill him. Then do that. So we can take that bar. And we'll poison that. And we'll do that. And then we'll do this. Pointed you you weren't you weren't winning, man, but it's all good. We get three bars. We get a perfect score this week, guys. 114. Here it comes down the throat. There we go, guys. Three wins. That guy did not practice before playing today. <laughs> there we go. 114. Perfect score. Only the second time that we got a perfect score. Let's see how the team is doing score-wise. How many perfect scores? We get 15 people with perfect scores. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Boom. Do that. Thank you for putting butters down. Dude, butters is outside the map. Butters is outside the map. He blasted butters outside the map. <laughs> what? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've never seen that ever.